Warren Lyle's family has grown oranges in the Palma Valley for four generations. His groves are a mix of mature and young trees, already heavy with fruit. This young Caracara navel tree is about two years old, two and a half years old. You can see it's growing with fresh new growth. And that fresh new growth is a tender delicacy for the Asian citrus psyllid. This is where the psyllid loves to live. This is the only place the psyllid will lay its eggs and the young will begin to grow. Lyle is an expert on the psyllid because it feeds on the same trees that are his livelihood. They'll land on that leaf and they have a sharp um, mouth part that they literally poke into the leaf and suck the fluid out. That sounds bad, but the real threat is the disease the small insects spread. As they move around and feed on citrus trees, they can infect them with Huanglong Bing disease. HLB kills citrus trees within a few years of infection. There is no cure. We are concerned that that disease may become a death knell for our citrus industry in California, which it has become in Florida and many other places already. Florida is dealing with widespread HLB infection. A university study there says the disease is imposing a nearly billion dollar a year hit to that state's economy. Eric Larson works for the San Diego County Farm Bureau. He says the economic footprint is smaller here, but if citrus trees are killed off, there may not be a replacement. The citrus trees are in the, in the valleys, in the floor of the valley, San Pasqual Valley, Palma Valley, um, Pala area, where, the, where, where it's cold because the citrus trees can handle the cold, and the avocado trees are on the sides of the hill where it's much less cold. You can't remove the citrus trees and then plant avocados. Larson says local citrus farmers are mobilized. They are attacking the psyllid population with pesticides and insect predators. Keeping the psyllids numbers low controls the risk of infection. But Larson says the disease has a lot of places to hide. There could be more citrus trees in backyards in a place like San Diego County than there is in the commercial groves because most everybody who has a residential lot has a lemon tree, a lime tree, an orange tree. It's just a, such a common thing to have. Well, these could be the, become the reservoirs of the disease. Here are some adults right here on the back of this leaf. And they're small and they always sit with an ang they always sit at a 45 degree angle from the substrate that they're standing on. Tracy Ellis works with the San Diego County Department of Agriculture Weights and Measures. She's an entomologist who's bent on suppressing the spread of the psyllid. Ellis says it's easy for homeowners to miss the threat. I think we've probably gotten a little, little lazy in checking for pests in our backyards on our citrus tree. Ellis is working with researchers, state officials, and residents, but she concedes it's not easy to see the bugs. It's even harder to tell if a tree is infected with HLB. The infection devastating Florida's citrus industry likely started in a backyard. And they didn't really know that this there was an infected curry plant, which is in the same family as orange, in somebody's backyard that they had brought from probably Asia that had the disease in it. And once once the vector is there, then the disease spreads. Researchers attacking the psyllid infestation say the bug is now firmly established in Southern California. They suspect HLB is here too. Farmers like Warren Lyle think it's no longer a question of if, but of when HLB will start killing local trees. Growers hope their effort to combat the psyllids now buys enough time for scientists to find a treatment or a cure for the disease. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.